Oh, hello. <laughs> I am D-Rod Jenkins, and this is 15 Weird Questions Tag. I was tagged by Satanic Sexaholic, a.k.a. Toddy, a.k.a. Tattle, a.k.a. Noxus Poppy, a.k.a. Uh, Tatiana, a.k.a. Tatiana, a.k.a. Tatian Anyan. So, yeah. It's very hard to pronounce. It's foreign. She's a foreign lady. I'm sorry, Toddy. Anyway, uh, let's jump right into it, because this is already getting weird. Um, first question. What's a nickname only your family calls you? Um, my middle name is originally Daniel, which uh, they have taken and called me Danny, which is what I normally go by, but everybody calls me that. My dad, though, he ca commonly calls me Dude. Um, but other than that, I don't know, man. Uh, I think Dude is the closest thing to a family-only nickname. Hmm. Question two. What's a weird habit of yours? I'm getting messaged here. <laughs> anyway, what's a weird habit of yours? Um, every now and then when I'm walking next to a wall, I will uh, wrap my knuckles against it. And uh, I'll do this like several times and like get a rhythm going. I don't know why I do it. I don't know how I developed it. I think it was in high school when I started doing this. And uh, it was just something that stuck and became a weird habit. And uh, it's the weirdest habit I can think of. Um, question three. Do you have any weird phobias? Uh, I'm an arachnophobia. Like, uh, an inglorious arachnophobia. Um, hmm. But, um, I don't think that one's weird. That one's kind of common for a lot of people. In terms of a weird phobia? Uh, let me think. Sometimes when I'm driving, uh, in a car, I will imagine... Like, uh, even... Like, even in the dark, I guess it's a fear of the dark, maybe, but it's not really a fear of the dark. But it's sometimes I'll just think, like, I'll imagine a ghost coming out of the darkness, and it kind of gets me offset. I don't know why I do that. And when I'm driving, I'll imagine, like, ghosts chasing me along the uh, the road. And there's actually one that I invented that, um, she has a pale face, a sunken in face. You can see, like, her cheekbones and stuff. And, um... No visible body, just a white sheet, like, flapping in the wind, and she she makes this weird noise, like, and, uh, it sounds goofy as fuck, but when I'm thinking about it, when just driving on the road and it's dead quiet, I get a little nervous, man, I don't wanna, and she always drives on the, like, with the car, like, on the side, like, she's chasing with you, and so I never wanna, like, just glance over to my side and be like, oh, fuck, there she is! So that that worries me. That's a weird phobia. Um, what's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? Uh, I'm kind of with, uh, what's his name, Dave Grohl, uh, when he said there's no such thing as a guilty pleasure. If you want to listen to a Kesha song, just listen to a fucking Kesha song. Um, but, yeah, a part of me is kind of like guilty pleasure with most pop songs. Uh, most, like, most addicting pop songs. And, um, I, I, I would say, um, maybe Katy Perry. Like, I could probably listen to a Katy Perry song and, like, blast that and be like, oh my god, this is a song. Mm. Like, Firework or something and just be inspired or something <laughs> to do something better. And, uh, so yeah. Uh, question five. What's one of your biggest pet peeves? Uh, closing doors. Like, if somebody, like, is, is about to close a door and it doesn't close and then they just, like, keep walking, like, they didn't realize the door clicked, like, I have to have the door click. It's very... I've, I have weird dreams about doors not being able to close, or doors not being able to lock, and so, um... Yeah, I have to... If somebody wants to close the door, they have to close the door or else I will close it. Hmm. Question six. What's one of your nervous habits? Uh, when I get nervous enough, like, I'll wring my hands a lot. Maybe. I don't know. When I'm nervous, I laugh a lot. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> God damn it. I'm not, I'm not terribly nervous right now. It's just one of those things where you're like, oh, I'm, I laugh when I'm nervous, and then you start laughing. So. 
and um, so yeah, I'll wring my hands or I'll laugh a lot or I'll make like a lot of jokes at one point in time. Like if I don't know a lot of people that I'm with at like a, a public place, a bar or a restaurant or some shit, um, like either I'll stay really quiet and wring my hands together or, excuse me, <coughs> no, I'm not, I'm not excusing that one. But, um, uh, if I don't wring my hands, then I'll just try to make as many jokes as I can and just try to get everybody laughing so they stop staring at me all the time. Mm-hmm. Sweet nectar of the alcohol. <laughs> God. Um, where are we? That was the nervous habit. Number seven, what side of the bed do you sleep on? Uh... It depends. As of right now, I'm sleeping on the right side of the bed. Uh, Before that, I was sleeping on the left side. And before that, I was sleeping on the right side. And before that, the right side. I think the majority might be the right side. So I'll say the right side. But I can sleep on either side of the bed. Alone. Forever. Uh, Number eight. What was your first stuffed animal and its name? I don't have him here with me. He's actually out in the car. Um, his name is Roscoe P. Bear. He is a brown bear. I've had him since I was a child. And um, I normally like to keep him uh, somewhere where I can see him because he's kind of like, he's become like the guardian animal now. And um, But his name is Roscoe. He's out in the car right now uh, collecting dust, which is probably why I'm uh, just having bad luck. He's supposed to be in here. Um, but, but, uh, number nine, what's the drink you always order at Starbucks? I, I don't go to Starbucks. They charge way too much for coffee. Uh, if I want to actually buy just a cup of coffee, which I, I'll normally just make my own coffee, but if I want to buy a cup of coffee, I'll just go to fucking McDonald's and sp- spend a buck oh eight on black coffee, which is, that's what I drink. I drink black coffee. I don't like cream. I don't like sugar. I don't like vanilla, French vanilla flavor. I don't like mint I don't like ice cream. I don't like I don't like anything in my fucking coffee but fucking coffee. Just pure fucking coffee. Uh, I can't stand not not coffee. Like I I guess I could drink a frappuccino or something like that every now and then. But for the most part, if I want coffee, I'm just gonna get some goddamn coffee. Uh, number ten. What's a beauty rule you preach but never actually practice? pretty much everything, like, I'm <laughs> just, like, I mean, come on, look at this punum, like, huh. like, I don't, I don't do anything with this, so I don't, I don't practice anything that I would preach, um, in terms of that, though, god, I, that seems more like a girl question, because I don't think guys really give a shit about what they look like, uh, I'm trying my best to think, I guess, I honestly can't think of anything. That feels more like a girl question. But, um, in terms of, like, girls, like, there are some things, like, to myself, I don't actually, like, say this to them because it's mean, but there are some things where it's, like, no, it's, like, some makeup you should probably wear, which is kind of mean. <laughs> it's, like, it's like in public, I guess. It's, like, if you're alone with your boo and stuff like that, I mean, you don't have to, you can go all natural. And, uh, I just I can't think of anything very well for that one. That one that one was a fail. That was a big fail. I I failed that. I did not nail it. Uh, ba ba da. Number eleven. Which way do you face in the shower? I really I oscillate, man. It's like you gotta get you gotta get every every side. So I oscillate. It's like sometimes I face the water. Sometimes when you have to clean your back, you face the, it's, whichever part I'm cleaning, I want the water to hit that, so that's gonna be the way that I'm gonna face. I guess for the most part, I'm fixing the water, I suppose. That's something that I never really think about very much. It's a very, it's not, not necessarily a weird question, it's just one of those ponder questions. Um, ba ba da, number 12, do you have any weird body skills? Um, I could do this with my thumbs, which is get a good, just kind of 
double jointed thumbs. Everything else is they they finagle as as normal people finagle them, but the the thumbs bend backwards very far. Uh, aside from that, not really. Like not terribly. I'm still getting messages. <laughs> um, but other than that, I think I think it's just the thumbs. I don't think I can do anything impressive. Uh, I used to be able to um, take my foot and, like, when I was younger, like, be able to pull it back and, like, like connect, basically connect it to my stomach. Like, it's not really, like, just kind of, like, you could, I could take this and bend it. Oh, God, I can't, I can't even remotely do that anymore. Ugh, I didn't, I didn't want to show off my booty belly, but, um, so, yeah, thumbs. Uh, number 13, what's your favorite comfort food that's bad, but you love to eat it anyways? I eat a lot of bad food. Oh my god, will you stop messaging me already? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, in terms of food, like, I cook. I'm a cook by trade and a cook by enjoyment, because I like to do it. And honestly, like, I'll eat anything, and it'll comfort me, <laughs> more or less. Um, there are some things that... I guess I'm more comfortable. I guess I want to say pizza, because when I eat pizza, I eat a lot of it. And I feel bad for eating so much. No. I got it. I got it. Hang on. McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> because uh, it's one of those things where I wake up late in the day. It's just my habit. I'm a night owl. And if I manage to wake up while McDonald's is still serving breakfast, then I'm I'm like, oh my god, I can get McDonald's breakfast. I never get to have McDonald's breakfast. I can, the sky's the limit with me. And I go and I eat it and I enjoy it until it starts trying to digest. Oh god, god damn it! Like, why did I do that to myself? Like every time, every time I say. Why do it, why did I do that to myself? Why do I even bother doing that? And but then just the next time I wake up in the morning, I'm excited to get McDonald's breakfast. I'm knocking shit over over here. Uh, so yeah, McDonald's breakfast. That's the definite. And then second place is pizza, because I love pizza. I can eat it anytime. I I delivered for two years. I delivered pizza, and um. I remember my mom once saying that they were going to have pizza for dinner, and they're like, oh, you're probably tired of pizza. And it's like, I'm never going to get tired of pizza. But uh, sometimes they eat way more than I should, and I feel bad about that. But McDonald's food uh, beats that by a landslide by making me feel bad for eating it any time, even not breakfast, just any McDonald's food. Uh, ba -ba -da. Where are we? Number 14. We're almost done here. What's a phrase or exclamation you always say? I don't know. I swear a lot. I like saying, like, damn it or god damn it. I'm just like, will you just go do that, god damn it? Um, but a phrase or exclamation you always say. See, that seems like something where, again, it's like the shower thing. Like, it's not something you think about because you do it all the time. You start tuning it out. So, I can't really think think of what I would actually say. Weird exclamation. Hmm. That's another thinker. I think I'm going to have to fail this one again. I'm taking a drink every time I feel like I've failed. <laughs> no, I'm just taking a drink any time I feel like it. Um, hang on. <coughs> I probably looked really weird, because, like, my whole face contorted. Uh, time to sleep. This is question 15. Last question. Time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? Um, a white shirt like this, which, this is an undershirt. I was wearing, uh, it's too far. I was wearing my work shirt, uh, and before that, but a white shirt, which is under the regular shirt which I take off so I can wear my white shirt and just relax because it's way more comfortable, way more flexible. And then boxer briefs because I like to have more room than briefs but not so much room as boxers. I just, I'm doing arm motions below the thing like, oh, this is, this is how I like my junk packaged. Like, 
God. <laughs> These are weird fucking questions. <sighs> but anyway, white shirt, boxer briefs. That's it. No socks. Why would you wear socks to bed? That's weird. Um, so that's... That's it, guys. Congratulations for enduring one of, uh... My personal videos where I show my face and, like, every single pore in my face. That's not even true. You probably can't even see pores. This ain't high def. Do you think I'm fancy? Because I ain't. So, if you like this video, uh... Well, for one fucking like it, and then subscribe, and then share it with the world, like, that should be a given, and then do one for yourself, and then let me know about it, because I want to watch it, because it's fun, it's fun to interact with the internet, so, but, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I could not have, I failed this one, guys, weird, just weird. Not the questions, just me. Anyway, that's... <laughs> I can't even do this right. <clears throat> that's all for me. Thank you for watching. Send me your video of you doing this and embarrassing yourself even more because I feel very, very embarrassed. So, okay, that's it. Goodbye.